Hey, my name is Ivy and welcome back to my channel. We are going to be playing with a little bit of new makeup today. I have an idea for a look that I want to do. I am actually going out tonight for the first time in quite a while. And I just think that the new makeup that I have in my collection is actually perfect to do the look that I've had in mind. I've already done my base. So I did my foundation, concealer, bronzer, and brows. I skipped you over the boring stuff. I'm just taking you right into the fun stuff, which is a new eyeshadow palette, um, a new blush, and then a new lipstick. So a few new things that I just thought it would be fun to try on camera and just kind of do a regular chatty get ready with me. So the first thing that is new is this palette. So this is the Rogue palette from Fantasy Cosmetica. I recently did a little quick swatching video of this palette. Also been playing with it a little bit on my eyes. And as you can see, it is a really, really shifty, fun, cool toned color story. The shimmer shades in here, the multi-chromes, are pretty spectacular. They are really sheeny, really, really shifty. The mattes are also lovely. I've been starting to play around with those. I really like this purple shade, Subtle. Today I'm gonna lean a little more into like the blue, green, black kind of area and do something a little bit smokier. I think that Fantasy Cosmetica is, you know, doing some really interesting things. I like that they have a theme that they're sticking to. I like that it's kind of still a small indie brand. They're starting to explore perfumes, which I think is really, really cool. I feel like I could totally see myself picking up other color stories. For now, I'm, I'm limiting myself to just this new one. I do have to admit though, I have my eyes on Druid which I think is, is one of the earlier palettes that they developed. It's like just totally my kind of color story, but I know, I know that I have a lot of dupes for the shades. Something really nice about seeing it all together. Anyway, let's get into a look. I'm gonna start, I think, with the greenish shade in this palette called Shadows. That's this matte shade. And I have an idea for a look that basically goes from kind of like a shimmery purplish pinkish inner corner to green to black smoky kind of look. We're gonna start with kind of the mid-tones and then work our way into the darker tones. So I'm just taking kind of a soft blending brush into dipping into shadows. And I'm just gonna start at my outer corner, kind of layering that in, tapping it in. There's no sparkle in this shade. It's a matte shade, but I think there might be some leftover sparkle on my brush because I haven't washed my brushes in a little bit. So don't be fooled. It's not a shimmer shade. I just am a messy bitch. What can I say? Um, I'm finding that the mattes so far blend uh, really well, have nice payoff, are smooth, not too chalky. I'm really excited to try at some point the perfumes that they're developing, the scents. I've probably, I think I've said this before. I'm not, I'm not a big, like perfume person. I don't, I haven't gotten really into the world of scent. There's um, a part of me that would really like to find a signature scent, something that is, is really unique to me. And it would be nice to find something like made by an indie brand that I really like. Um, and this, a lot of the notes in the scents that just came out sound really appealing to me. Right now, the only scent that I wear more regularly is Glossier U, which is fine. Like I, I do like it. I think it smells really nice, but it's just, hey, how do I say this in a way that's not rude? It's a little common. It's a little common. <laughs> like I just don't want to smell, like I want to smell good and I do like how it smells obviously, but I don't want to smell like everybody else. I feel like a lot of people wear Glossier U these days, so I'm not sure. But yeah, so as you can see, this shade Shadows is blending out super, super nice. I'm gonna layer Assassin, which is a black, just into the most outer corner for even more depth. I really like this shade. This is really pretty. Okay, let's find another brush. I gotta be, gotta be careful with black, man. Black is scary. Black is a little intimidating. Um, I don't know about you, but like I get freaked out by black. I love playing with like dark greens and dark blues and dark browns, but black is a little bit, a little bit intimidating. I've layered in a little bit 
of that black. I'm trying really hard not to go overboard and I'm just gonna start diffusing that out on the corner a bit more so that I can see if I need to layer more on. Layering on this black. Oh my gosh, black. Eee, it's so intense. I just really do like supporting individuals, you know? I, it's, I have nothing against bigger brands and there's a lot of them out there that I certainly support. Don't have an issue with that, but when I have the opportunity and I really am vibing with like a small single person run brand, it's just so nice. Like I just, you know, you like, it's like getting to know someone and to see their business thrive is really exciting. I'm not gonna worry about cleaning up yet. This always happens to me, I get nervous. I start to see a lot of shadow kind of getting really blendy and smoky and I'm like, Ugh, I need to start cleaning up, but it's too early. We're not ready for that yet. Don't get ahead of yourself, Missy. Take your time. Okay, I think though I'm gonna actually go in with Subtle first, that lavender shade. Um, I'm gonna go in with that on the inner corner as a base before I layer on any shimmers. I don't know, if you have a favorite eye primer for like everyday typey um, use, you know, not specifically for shimmers, let me know because I think that the NYX glitter primer will suit me just fine for the glitter stuff. I think I could do a lot more. <laughs> it sounds so obvious. I think I could do a lot more if I simply primed my eyes first. I think I'm gonna start with um, Sneak Attack, which is this um, red-brown pigment with a green flip. Very, very pigmented though and very intense. I When I did the swatch for this one, I was like, whoa, that is, you know, I have this kind of shade and I love it. Um, so much. It's probably like one of my favorite kinds of shades, but this is a whole new level of intensity and you'll, you'll see. Prepare yourself. <gasps> Sorry, it's a little overkill. Okay, let's just actually apply this. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow. God damn it. It's, it's just like effortless to tap this on and blend it out. It is so so wet looking i mean like if anything i feel like people might try these shadows and be like whoa i need to slow down with how i'm using them because they're really really intense but in a good way i think you just need to be prepared <laughs> for when you dip your fingers into them i'm gonna use trickster um which is this more pinky shade on my most inner corner i'm gonna start by using my finger but then I'm gonna use a brush to just blend it into sneak attack. Really get in the inner corner there. Under the eye. There. That is really, really pretty. Very delicately try to get that on the inner corner with my finger. This is the hardest part, trying to apply with your finger glitter shadow to your inner corner is like a it's a it's a tight rope block okay i will say that sleight of hand which i'm not using today so far is my favorite shade in the palette and i was i was going to use it today but i was like no i want to i want to play with the other colors i want to i want to make my way around this palette it's really, really, really stunning. And it's more sheer than, like you can really sheer it out more than some of these other shades. And that's what I like about it. I've been getting, I think ever since I started playing around with the Earthborn um, Shine by SD Seeking Shifts collab shades, I only got a few. That is a collection that really leaned into just like more sheer combination topper type shades not a lot of them don't have a lot of base pigment and so i think some people were a little like surprised by that or they were expecting something different but i totally get what riley and shine by sd were trying to do and i love it and so i've been leaning into that that kind of feeling more i mean i am going to start to clean up the eye line a little bit i'm just going to use a bit of concealer just to kind of 
clean this up and make it a little bit sharper. And then I think I am gonna go in with a tiny bit of brown eyeliner just to make my lash line a little bit more intense um, because I'm not gonna be wearing fake lashes. I know that would probably help something like this really pop, but I'm, but I'm just not, I'm not that girly and I'm not gonna do it. So let's clean up and then come back and we'll use the rest of the new products. Okay, so I just cleaned up my line of the shadows a little bit using some concealer. I accidentally used one of my glittery fingers to tap in the concealer. So now I have a fair amount of glitter right here on my cheek, but it's fine. We're not gonna worry about it. We're not gonna worry about it. I finally have the M Cosmetics um, Illustrative Eyeliner back in my life. This was after a long time where it was missing and I missed it greatly. I use the shade brown. I prefer it over the black. Um, I just like that it's a little bit softer and I'm just gonna use that right along my lash line to make my lash line look a little thicker. Again, I'm not wearing falsies, so I never, and I never do. So this just helps give the illusion of a thicker lash line. So let's do that, and then I'm gonna wing it out a tiny bit. I'm not gonna do a big, intense wing. Just make it feel like an extension of my lashes. There we go. That's all I wanted to do. It's always harder on this eye, inevitably. All right, that is liner done. So let's do mascara and then we'll move on to the other new products that I'm trying today. I think I'm just gonna go with my Make Waves mascara. It's my go-to. Sorry if you're bored by that choice, but I really, really like it. And I have not been in the mood to experiment with other, with other mascaras because that one's just making me really happy. However, that being said, if anybody has their ride or die mascaras that they would like to share in the comments, please do because I'm not a fool. I know this isn't the only good mascara on the planet right now. And when it runs out, I will probably force myself to get another brand's mascara just to keep trying new things, but I will more than likely keep repurchasing this in addition. So just let, anyway, if you have a hot mascara tip, let me know. I think I will do what I did last time, which is use my 1999 Beauty Lash Tint Mascara for the bottom lashes, just mostly because I love this wand and I love how tiny and easy to use it is. By the way, tonight I'm going to see David Cross perform. I'm a big, David Cross, Bob Odenkirk, fan, comedy fan. Don't go to too many comedy shows, but I saw that David Cross was performing rather locally for us, and I was like, ooh, that would be fun. So we're like legit going out, like out, out for, to an event tonight, which is, which is gonna be really fun. I think the name of the show is uh, Worst Daddy in the World, which just, I think, probably says it all. So I'm excited. Next new product that I'm playing with, this is not, well, I should say new to me. It's not that new. This is from M Cosmetics. So this is their Heaven's Glow Blush. Heaven's Glow Radiant Veil Blush in the shade Persimmon. When this shade came out, I was really intrigued because I do really like orange blush and the other uh, shade of this kind of formula that I have from them is another orange blush, but it, it's a much It's a very different kind of color. And so when persimmon came out, I just Was very drawn to it um, and they were having a blush sale recently So I was able to pick it up at a at a much bigger discount. It is um, an illuminated blush meaning it has some shimmer particles to it. It's not super duper shimmery You're not gonna be like oh my god like you know, what's on my face. But if you have more texture in your skin, this might illuminate that a little bit more than a totally matte 
blush, but I think it's a very pretty illuminated blush. Apply this. Oh, it's so pretty. This is not my first time using this. This isn't like a strict first impression. This is more like a second or third impression, I think. Love this shade. And I kind of just thought like a more coral orangey color would look good with this palette of colors and also orange blush, extremely youthful. This is like a shade that I, I, I legit, I forget what brand it was, but when I was in middle school and early high school, I did two things with my makeup. One, I wore intensely thick liner, pencil liner, and like just like did a big thick line on my eye. That was a huge mistake. That was a beauty don't. But I also wore orange blush. And let me tell you, that was not a mistake. Orange blush is where it's at. And always has been, and always will be. And more people need to wear orange blush. It's really, really, really pretty. Young Ivy had at least half of what she was doing right. Half. Less than half. Okay, I'm gonna just go over, ooh, just put myself in the eye. <laughs> I'm just gonna go over everything with a big powder brush. It doesn't really have, it probably just has a little bit of leftover powder on it but a big powder brush just to kind of diffuse, my favorite word, diffuse everything out. I'm definitely getting glitter all over my face, but I don't really care if it bothers you. Sorry, sorry. I think we are, we're going, we're good here. We're vibing. We have an intense eye. We have an orange blush. So the last thing that I want to use is a lipstick and I have three of these um, bomb kind of multi-sticks from Axiology Beauty, which is a brand that I really love. They were kind enough to send me um, two of their radiant like dew tints, I think is what they're called, multi-stick tinted dew. And then the other formula that they, that they have is the multi-stick color cream. They also have these like little mini crayons that are amazing. Um, but I've been playing around with these and again, they're multi-sticks. You can use them all over your face. I've been using them as eyeshadows. I've been using those blushes, lipsticks. Today, I think I'm going to go with this shade, which is called Worth. So this is a shade that I actually had before in my collection before they came out with their newer fully recyclable packaging. Um, and I loved this shade. It is kind of like a terracotta orangey red. It's really, really pretty. I think it's gonna go well with this look um, and it's newer to me. I've worn it already. It's not my first time wearing it, but uh, it's my first time in a little bit. So I'm just gonna use the multi-stick to apply it like directly, but then I'm probably gonna use my finger to blend it out. You could use a brush. Okay. So this is a color that has some shimmer to it. It's not a shimmery lipstick, but I just mean it's not a fully matte lipstick. It's not gonna read super matte. It's got a satin finish to it. It's really, really vibrant. It's really bright. I feel like, especially with this kind of cool toned eye, that orange lip is really popping. I feel like I might tone it down a little bit. I hate to say it just because it's such a beautiful color, but it is, maybe competing with the eyes a little bit. So I happen to have a, a little brownie kind of bomb from uh, NARS handy. And I think I'm just gonna do that a little bit. Yeah, that feels a little bit better. It's probably gonna slide off my lips instantly, but that's fine. All right. Okay, so this is the finished look. I, of course I like it. I just did it, so I like it, but I like it even more the more I look at it, the way that these eyeshadows blended together and are just, I mean, it was a really easy eye look to do considering it's obviously quite an intense look, but the shadows themselves made the work super duper easy. And of course it's orange blush. You gotta love it. And if you don't, you have to get into it. Our orange blush is, amazing. So I do really like the Heaven's Glow um, Persimmon Blush from M Cosmetics. That is very beautiful. <gasps> I wish I had gotten glitter all over my cheek here, but that's fine. I was going to do a highlighter, but honestly, between 
the illuminated blush and the fact that I did accidentally get glitter all over my cheek, I think I'm just gonna let it go and not add highlighter on top of that. Um, and then the lip, I mean, Worth is an, a stunning shade. I do really love the multi-sticks from Axiology. I also really love the Bommies, the little pencils that they have. Um, but I think that this is in particular a really, really, really stunning shade. Um, they have a bunch of amazing colors though. So if you haven't checked out Axiology, you should really look at their website and see all that they have to offer. Okay, so hopefully this video isn't too long. I really, really wanted to try to do a shorter one. Um, but yeah, I just had fun playing with some new items, new to me items. I am excited to keep filming, sharing with you. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure you subscribe and like this video before you leave it. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.